gratifying to see this building come out of the ground and to see what it's become. Uh, and it is a beautiful building. It puts us in the geographical center of the city, which will give us an opportunity to respond more quickly to every area in the city. At $29 million, the headquarters building for the Brentwood Police Department is here. You know, it's the biggest project in the history of Brentwood uh, from a financial perspective. Uh, the idea of a, of a police headquarters has been discussed for years. Uh, in the last five years, we've seen a change in society relative to the police department and law enforcement and how they're viewed. Uh, and we recognize that the flaws we had at City Hall were even greater when it comes in terms of uh, security, access, all those kind of things. And it really drove us to the point where we had to do something. The team briefed the Brentwood City Commissioners in 2017 and all agreed it was time to put this long talked about plan into action. The architect company was hired in 2017 and the city already owned the land at 910 Heritage Way. We had the site, so we had to make the idea fit the site, which our design team did a great job of doing. Much of the next two years was spent planning and researching. The groundbreaking in 2019 meant the building was finally becoming a reality. Out of the range, you'll come right in here to clean your weapon. And range. We're moving toward the range. Yeah, the gun range. The gun range. The indoor gun range is 25 yards long with six shooting lanes, moving targets, a complete ventilation system, and rubber material to catch and absorb every bullet fired. A nearby soundproof room will also house the interactive shooting simulator to help with de-escalation tactics and the building location provides access to Brentwood's major thoroughfares. Uh, that, that's huge, that's huge. That will allow us to do our job better and the services of Brentwood uh, better and, and hopefully uh, continue to improve on the quality of services that we provide. Right through the front doors, a municipal courtroom will double as a space for the community. There will be an opportunity to uh, expand on programs that we have in place like our Citizens Police Academy uh, like our neighborhood watch programs. It belongs to the citizens, so we want them to feel like that they are welcome there. We want to, uh, to build on those partnerships and those relationships that we have with our citizens, and, and I think this building will, uh, will help facilitate that. It'll be the state of the art for the entire state. I want to uh, commend Kirk Bedner, the city manager, for having the guts to push forward this idea uh, to put it at such an expensive building that is totally needed. These are the opportunities in the field that, that I'm in uh, to be able to look back 5, 10, 15 years from now and, and look into this community and, and look back and say, yeah, I had a hand in this and, and know that it, what it meant for this community long term. My, my time has come and gone. I understand that. My heart and soul will always be with Brentwood Police Department. And Brentwood is a place that runs strong on tradition. So Jeff and the guys, to get this done, I mean, I'll be beaming with pride and appreciation and gratitude and for the thoughtfulness of the city and of the police department to remember the past and push forward from what was learned in the past. And the past will certainly be a big part of this new, state-of-the-art, modern building.